Hello everyone and welcome back. Drove up to the tent this morning. I did that part in a separate video and now Melissa and Joni and Chunky are on their way up here and they should be here in about 30 minutes. It got to 77 degrees up here and there's been very little wind. Bugs are bad but what I did out here, Melissa read this thing where if you burn coffee grounds it keeps the mosquitoes and bugs away. So I actually been doing that today on the front porch and so far I think it's working. We'll know when it gets a little bit closer to dusk just how well it does work. Melissa and I will be up here tonight and all day tomorrow and then tomorrow night and I'm not sure what time if we'll leave in the morning on Sunday or afternoon. Like I said today now it got to 77. Tomorrow's high is only 64 and there's a front coming through, so I'm not sure if it's going to be windy or what, but there's definitely going to be some change in the weather. When I got here this morning, it was only 56 or 58 degrees inside the tent. It was already 64 or 66 outside, so I immediately turned on the air conditioner. I just let it go all day long with the fan blowing out, you know, the cold air. And it's still 75 outside. The time is not right. I haven't reset the date and time on this thing yet. Right now it is 647. But, and it's a Friday. But and anyway, 68 in here. The tent heats up fast. You know, or it'll, it, if it gets warm, it will stay hot in here. But if you keep it cool, it stays cool. So that's why I turned it on right away and kind of suffered at first. And now it's real comfortable. So we'll just have to wait and see where the weekend takes us. I brought up a different boat. You can see I have coffee grounds that are just smoldering away right here. And the same thing right here. When I first showed up here, I was trying to get that stuff set up. I First I fogged in front of the tent just to get the bugs out of the way so I could get in the tent without getting a ton of mosquitoes because there was literally 50 of them on my shirt. And then I started up one tiki torch over there just to let it burn. Uh, that does not agree with Melissa when she has to smell that all the time. So that's where I was. I was setting up the tiki torch and the mosquitoes were just all over me. And I brought up that boat and motor. If you guys watched the last farmhouse video, you watched me put the seat on and talked about the motor. That's the motor that I got from George. And I took it out. We're going to use it this weekend. It's different. I'm not used to it or the boat, even though the boats are about the same size. That one's a little bit wider. So Melissa and I will try it and I'll decide tomorrow if I want to bring that boat with, back with me because I've got the trailer, you know, hooked up to the back of my truck. Or if I want to haul this one back with me because we're up here this weekend, we're home next weekend, and then the weekend after that, which I've talked about in the farmhouse videos, uh, her and I are taking the fish house camper and we're going to go to a, a campground or whatever, yeah, a campground on a lake that's about an hour and a half north of the house that I've always wanted to fish on. And I'm going to bring one of these boats. It's just that I'm so used to this one, uh, but we'll just see how that one performs tomorrow. Otherwise, Melissa will be up here shortly and let the tent party begin. I'm wondering if it's going to rain tonight. You know, there's that difference between, everything is so dry up here right now. Everywhere in northern Minnesota seems dry. And you know, somewhere between 70, almost 80 degrees and, you know, this tomorrow's high of 64, there could be some little thunderstorms that pop up. I think the first one I did is getting low on fuel, so I started a second one. I was going to put some beer in the freezer, but they feel pretty cold. I brought up the frozen hamburgers and some brats. I cooked up three brats for lunch. And then spare ribs that we can do on the grill. And maybe we'll do a fish fry. I have a couple of small pork steaks out there. We have plenty of food either way. It all depends on what the weather's like tomorrow, how bad the bugs are, if the fish are biting, and just, you know, what we feel like doing.
We're just in there. We have War of the Worlds playing on DVD and I just came out here to see how it was and see if the tiki torches were still going and all of a sudden it started raining. The cold front must be coming through. I just went in and looked at the radar on my phone and it's just one little yellow blip. Good morning everybody. It's been cloudy all morning. Feels like it's going to rain, but uh, there's a little bit of a blob above us coming down. I don't know if it'll make it. And totally different from yesterday. 55 degrees right now. The high I think is like 63. It's going to be a lot colder. I restarted another thing of coffee grounds and it really does seem to help keep the mosquitoes at bay. Melissa is still in there sleeping. I've been up for a couple of hours. I feel like I should have my long johns on. Melissa just woke up, so I'm making her tea. I'm uh, restringing this. This is my old bait caster. It has a 6-3 to 1. My one that I fish with now has a 5-4 to 1, which I really like because most of them are 7-2 to 1. And anyway, this is the one I want to take when her and I go fishing with the uh, fish house. I don't want to bring my one from here back home. And so I'm going to restring this one. I had some, actually this is a big rod here, so I use this one down in Louisiana. But I like to use this spider wire 30 pound braid. So I'm going to put that on here. I can't, it seems to me that this one gets squeaky once in a while or something, but it still works. But anyway, I'm going to restring it, then take this off and bring it home. Because I just ordered a new, I like to use the 5 foot 6 ugly stick with the like handle grip here. I don't like these long ones at all. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, or was doing before Melissa woke up. Are you awake in there? It's raining pretty good out there right now. Every drop helps because it's so dry. It doesn't help with the mosquitoes though. <laughs> They're going to be really bad. Watch it scratch the table. I never had it work this good ever. <laughs> All I was going to do is tighten it up and then have you hold it, but it's like this is brilliant. Oh, 
Well, it's 10 minutes after 10 right now. According to the radar, the rain might be done now, but it keeps showing that and then it fills in above it, but hopefully that's it. Let it dry out a little bit and hopefully we can go fishing this afternoon anyway. She's a pretty hot grill, but I have the ribs on there. Potatoes are about done. Well, Melissa and I are going to go out fishing and try out that new boat. It's only 54 degrees. I went and put long johns on and my stocking cap. I guess a little chilly on the lake. on her first cast catches the first fish. Melissa gets number two. <laughs> Another little one. Maybe he'll just pop off. Right. The next cast, she gets another one. I couldn't even get the lens cleared off of the water. Well, that one, look at that. It looks like it got bit on the side. See that on your side? any more fight than the other one or it's a little it's one? Pulling. Is it? Your drag isn't set, is it? This one's got a little weight to it, I think. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. He's too big for the net. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Probably goes four pounds. We're gonna throw it back. I finally catch one, just a little one. Melissa just got a real little one that got off at the boat, and I just caught this real little one at the same time. Well, we came back, watched Con Air, and now we're going back out fishing. Mm -hmm. 
There we go, I just pulled this northern in. It's the perfect size eater right there. We'll keep this one. Melissa pulls in a nice keeper. Melissa bought these head nets that have the hat on them and you can see through them really good compared to the ones I had last time and it holds the head net away from your face and stuff so the mosquitoes can't bite through it. So it's actually working really good. Just pulling the Y bones out of this northern. I got the fish all cleaned up, save these for crayfish. The only thing bad about this head net worked absolutely awesome. The only bad thing is you can't take a drink of your beer twice. I grabbed it and said, what are you going to do? Let's see, two here, two. Yeah, nothing to do with it. That's a pretty nice bag of fish right there. Okay everyone, it's about a quarter to 11. Melissa and I are gonna go to bed. We just got done watching Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It's 46.6 degrees and going down to 36. Good morning everybody. Cold enough this morning that there's no mosquitoes flying around. And look at that fog over the lake. One hour later it's up to 49 degrees. What are you thinking, Joni? They're both looking at me like, <laughs> they know we're, me. They know we're going fishing. Don't leave me again. 52 degrees, we're going fishing. Well, 
unless it gets a keeper on the second cast. My first fish of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's got completely hooked with it too. Oh, this thing is yeah. tiny. <laughs> That's cute. It did. Oh, it did. She had another one. It was smaller. Another little one. <laughs> Caught another fish. Gonna throw this one back. We have one more till we have our limit, so this one's a little bit too small. I caught a perch on a spinnerbait. I can't believe it. Didn't even go in the mouth. It hooked it right behind the gills. Largemouth bass. It's a nice keeper northern there. That's probably Very the nice. same size as that one you caught yesterday, I think. That's nice. Probably the same one. We're done northern fishing. Still skunking me. <laughs> Well, I started up the grill. Melissa's gonna make hamburgers, corn on the cob that's just wrapped in foil, and last night we made macaroni and cheese, so that'll be our lunch. And I'm gonna clean these fish. Some nice northerns, a bass, and three halfway decent perch. Nice morning on the lake. Yeah, you can turn them down. Me. I'm no one's son. I am your father, Perseus. 
I'm driving over to the boat landing right now to drop my truck off with the trailer. I was going to have Melissa drive it over there and me buzz the boat over, but she's never been to the boat landing before and she's never driven this truck before. So if you're on the pavement and you miss the boat landing, this truck is so tall you can't see that little boat trailer back there to back it up on the road and turn. So she's following me and I'm going to drop it off and then she'll buzz me back over there. And then I'll run the boat over. I'm just getting stuff cleaned up in the tent. Right now it's, I don't know, probably about 3.30 in the afternoon. And we'll get out of here and head home. You going for the water? Well, let's head back to the tent, get everything else loaded up here, and head home. At first, I was unsure about that boat and that motor, but you get used to it, and that boat motor, once you get it going, I mean, you know, it starts on the first or second pull, and then every time when you start it, when you're gonna move from one place to another, first pull, halfway through, it fires up, so. I've gained some respect for it this weekend.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. All I can say is it was another great time up at the tent. I will see you guys on the next video.